Welcome back to the channel, everyone. If you haven't seen the last video on Dubrovnik city walls and best places to eat Dubrovnik, make sure to go check that out. In this video, I'll be showing you how to rent a car in Croatia to take on a seven country road trip, crossing borders, how to cross a border with my friends, me, Aaron, and Dom, who is a little camera shy. We'll be heading from Dubrovnik to Pocitelli Kula, a UNESCO site that's not very well known, but well worth the visit. So this is this is our driver, um, the taxi driver. I will link his information down below, but he is taking us to the airport this morning. We're gonna get our car and be on our way to Mostar. We rented our car here from Auto Will. Um, this is right across the street from the airport and is really the cheapest option. So for 16 days, we're able to rent this car, which I'll show you in just a second for around $1,200. Now, when you come here, you need your passport, driver's license, and then also a credit card to put on file, just like you would in the States, as well as they take a $150 fuel deposit. And then if you want an additional driver, it's around $9 or nine euros a day. Pretty great deal for three people to be able to travel with seven different countries. I'm a little nervous about driving, but Matthew, I think that's how you say his name. Sorry if I said it wrong, Matthew but um, he said that the border crossings are pretty easy and you just wanna make sure you have the green card uh, to prove that you have insurance for your car when you cross the borders, otherwise they won't let you cross. Let's get this party started. So we just got through the border. It took maybe five minutes. You get stamped out of Croatia into Bosnia. Um, and once you enter Bosnia, that's when you want your paperwork for your car. And we are on our way. It's about an hour and 56 minute drive from Dubrovnik to Pocetel Kula. This is one of the lesser known UNESCO sites. There are plenty of gas stations along the way for snacks, but not as many places to sit down and actually have a meal. Just keep that in mind as you drive. So here's the border crossing that we were just at. So you stand, you get out of Croatia and this is the into the Bosnia. And then you just come up along this road. These are the kind of roads that you'll run into. The infrastructure isn't quite recovered from the war. So I would definitely choose a car that is more like an SUV and less like one of those mm, surf scrapers as I call them. The fall colors with the mist in the background and the, the greenery that's just poking through, like everything's changing. It's so beautiful. And it's so quiet. Welcome to Bosnia. This scenery is stunning. And I, we just keep stopping like every 10 minutes. I hope that we can get to everything we want to see today, but that's part of the joy of road trips and traveling is just taking a moment to slow down and enjoy the ride, literally. We made it to our first gas station stop or rest stop really and we're about 30 minutes outside of Pochicelli Kula probably saying that wrong but here's the name um, it is a UNESCO protected site around it was built in or first mentioned around 1444 can't wait to show you what it looks like as you approach Pochicelli Kula Google Maps will take you to the backside of the fortress. Now, if you take, go down this archway and then take a left, it will take you over to the viewing platform that we decided to go to because of the impending storm. If you go to the right, it'll take you over to the master tower, which the city is named for. 
In the Middle Ages, the city of Pochicelli was the center of Dubfra Zupa, a country at the time, and was a significant strategic importance as it was right along the Narrativa River. During the time rivers were really important for trade, it is estimated that the first fortifications in the town were started in 1383 with the Bosnian king Stefan Kartogov I. So UNESCO was saying that this is one of the most endangered sites, but it is the most unique in that you have medieval um, and Ottoman architecture here. You can see how the windows are shaped with the Ottoman type architecture. And then across the valley here, this is where you'll see the fortress. You can take a small road that goes over to the other side, but it looked a little sketchy getting in, so we decided not to, but these views are unreal. The magical views soon came to an end and the storm swooped in. We kind of got stuck in a rainstorm and the thunder and lightning is like all around us. So we're hurrying back to the car. <sighs> I think we don't need a shower anymore because we just had our clothes washed for us. I am soaked inside of my body and I can't deal with this right now. <laughs> We had about a good 20 minutes of seeing the views, getting some photos, and then we got dumped on. So at least we can be grateful for those few minutes. Prochitelli Kula is a great stopping point along your road trip from Dubrovnik to Mostar. It is right on the way to Kravka Waterfalls and Buna Village, which we will be visiting in the next video. So make sure to check out culturetrekking.com for all of the detailed guides, as well as like and share this with a friend. I will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.